First and foremost, guys, Lost Ark has been a blast, and I'm about to give you guys the breakdown of the closed beta and what I got to do while I was in there. Now, there was loads and loads of content, and this game is probably going to be one of my favorite if it continues down the path that is currently on. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had a blast playing it. My community had a blast watching it. And, well, let's just hop into some of my favorite things about the game. That looks like me. We're going to really same. skip through character customization, although I did have a little bit of fun in if that. I, had, I really want to jump into the if, stuff if, you guys if, care if, about if, most. Like, what are the controls like? This ain't your typical um, MMO. Let me just go ahead and say it like that. Attack, the controls on this was really close attack, to playing like attack, Torchlight right. or Diablo. Um, I wasn't really excited about the QWERTY yes. layout, but yes, let me tell you guys, really, once you get used really to it, like, it's a breeze like and it's me. easy to do. Like so it's not Diablo. your typical action There's combat. You're not going to be playing VR, like it is on Elyon or Bless Unleashed of that sort. It's uh, more of your yeah, Diablo, Torchlight, or even Path of Exile okay, style I'm, gameplay I'm with your keyboard and mouse. But honestly, guys, like I say, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty nice, and I dig it. So let's just really dive into some basic combat. I felt like the game was very fluid. The sound effects in combat was super nice. It kept oh, wow, me engaged yeah, enough to want to keep playing and level up. You get quite a bit of skills as you start out anyway, so you just continue playing on. Like I say, the keyboard layout was a little bit, so little bit to get used to, to but once you got that all under control, the game really played super fluid and smooth. Some of the more exciting gameplay in this really comes from the cutscene starting off this huge battle that brings you into a mob-based fight mentality. Like, I love this. This was amazing. Guys, I mean, I love mobs. I love crushing mobs. Dungeon crawlers are my games. I will throw it out there a million times. Diablo, Torchlight, Path of Exile. out. Give me stuff I can wreck. Let me work on my build and give me the loot. That is so important. And this game, for me, does exactly that. It's an MMO, in my opinion, that I haven't seen done this particular way before. And guys, Lost Ark is really kicking it out for me right now. Let's get into dungeons a little bit here. So, every single dungeon that I've encountered so right, far so has a normal and a hard piece. difficulty. Alongside of that, I've been able to enter the dungeon solo or by matchmaking. The first few dungeons I ran, I ran them solo. I really just wanted to experience what that dungeon had to offer for myself and kind of gauge difficulty of the dungeon for me. That way I'd know if, you know, I ain't got no buddies that play this game. I'm going to have to play this game all by myself. What is going to look like for a solo player? And I will tell you, um, it's doable. Honestly, they do a great job with dungeons because dungeons that, scale because based on how many people really, are in it. Really when one or two players leave, the dungeon scales down to be difficult enough for two yeah, players. This, this is hard. something all MMOs need to introduce. There should be no one-man, four-man, five-man only dungeons. Yeah, I what? feel like every dungeon needs to have the ability to have one to four scale? range. Now, when it comes to raids, yeah. Big boss fights, yeah. Make yeah, it a group think, battle for sure, but dungeons always like, scale to how many players are in the dungeon and cap it out to how many players can be in at one time. Hard, Lost Ark's doing that. I Holy love it. Crap, I appreciate dude. it. It's part of the reasons why I'm loving the game. Now, I've seen this before. Hidden bosses, hidden things to find within a dungeon. You don't see it as often um, as we'd like, but... Easter eggs or hidden bosses or hidden items in a dungeon course, like that's say, off the mat, that's really cool to me. That, again, of, speaks to the level of this is how I want to play a game. I want to be able to spend countless hours in a game and never get bored because there's always a hidden surprise. And with YouTube out there, guys, we know for sure we're going to be able to look up hidden dungeon aspect number one and figure out all the hidden dungeon Thank things. You. But as somebody who may not consume YouTube for that reason, you're going to be able to say, I'm searching 100% of every map, Woo, every dungeon, right there, every time, so I can find those hidden things myself. This game's going to give that to you. And guys, it just screams to me, play me. I'm really good. And I'm going to be playing this game. Come March, guys, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do about other games. Because this is going to be it for Got me, you. for sure. Just as a side note, something that Lost Ark is doing really cool, in my opinion, is the ability to play cards. You have a card deck. Um, each card has some type of bonus, but when you have your sets of cards together, you get a set bonus. Um, another layer of gameplay and gameplay style to go with the builds that you're working on. Uh, Lost Ark's knocking this out of the park, guys. I haven't seen it done this way, and it's just a really another exciting layer to the game. You know, in terms of content and what you're going to see out of this, I wanted to dive into the map a little bit to showcase the size of the world in Lost Ark. 
this was probably the there's biggest a, like whoa moment i had when i got to looking at how much of the world there was that's, to discover explore engage in whoa, that just screams whoa. content to me right, so, and we know right. whenever we're looking for the next oh, game whoa. that we're gonna sink hours into content is one of the biggest factors oh, what do we do whoa. when we finish the no. story what do we do right when now, we get done with this area do we leave that area? area do we ever come Just back things like that do matter to me i want the so entire not, world to have value but i will that. say as you progress in this game it's story based type is that you finish the area now you keep going back uh, now there are points in the story where you do have to repeat go back to the same areas and check in with other people but nine times out of ten once you're done there you move on to the next section like i don't know if i told you about this but the big the big 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 thing is there's a lot of ocean there and there's a lot of stuff to do in the water so just imagine getting your own boat and selling the seas in this game like i said lost ark is screaming to content to about. no um, end there are so many little icons on that map there's uh, so much to explore that it just says this hey this is a game that once you get into match. you're going to be playing it for a while and you're not going to be bored there's always going to be something you can do and that brings up some big co-op opportunities in this game which we'll we'll discuss when we talk about dungeons here in a moment now i'm sure you heard me mention guild wars 2 at some point Guild Wars did something completely different for me, and that was to offer the game the ability, like the player, the ability to look through the game in different lenses. You can discover vistas, you can discover, you can find things, you can just engage with the environment around you and have a lot of fun with these random pop up events and such. It's very like valuable that. because if I don't know what to do right now, I can go find random things to do or I can try to complete the map. Look, check this out. You get an adventurous tome, which yeah, shows you what to like do in every area if you want to get to that 100% completion. And upon completing that area at 100%, you're going to get rewarded through the process. This says play this game as much as possible and uncover, unturn every stone in every area to fully be rewarded. That is content at its best. I know there are so many of us that are going to be sitting down, playing this game, and staying in every area to squeeze out as much of the lemon juice as possible because there's stuff to find there's stuff to do there's things to be rewarded for there's give me a game that says hey the more you play the more you earn the more you find the better it's not just about grinding for gear now you can actually grind for the achievement of saying hey i unlock 100 percent of an area it's beautiful and lost ark is executing on this perfect to my opinion but I will say, the meat and potatoes, guys, the things a lot of people really do care about is, what do my skills look like? What are builds going to be like at the end of the game? And you have a lot to choose from. I did it in a robotic voice because there is a lot to choose from. Your skill tree is very versatile. And depending on how many points you want to put in whichever skill on your skill set, you get to augment those skills to operate in a particular way, which gives you a lot of versatility when it comes to how you're playing, whether it's dungeons, whether it's raids, or whether it's something even worse. I don't know. Even PvP has the ability for you to, to, to maneuver through your skills to find out what That's works best now honestly i'm afraid to, to do say, pvp i don't really I don't, care about pvp do, but i did watch really some footage on pvp when you get to a certain point in the game you're going to be able to go into pvp and you unlock 100 percent of what you need to set your build up so you don't have to be level 5,000 to have all the points you need oh, in order whoa, whoa, to max whoa. out or get most of your skills in a way that you want them for your PvP build. Skill they do just like Guild Wars does. Tree. When you get into a PvP lobby, so everything's unlocked for tiers. you. You get to build your skills out before you even go in for battle, and it allows you to play with that character style. Now, you have to, like I say, grind to a particular point in the game before you have access to the PvP in that manner, but the fact that it is something that opens up to a character who's played X amount of hours into the game and got so far in the story that now you can see the full build out of your character it's really nifty because this game will show you what benefits want, you get for pve man. and how that skill will also be impacted in pvp it's nice and it is ever so pleasant as we run into most mmos these days we run into this forced pvp thing where i have to play pvp or um i don't get to progress through the story this game left PvP in its own right, and it did it very well because I've got so much PvE content to enjoy that if I got bored, I could step into PvP for a whole new look on the game.
Now stepping into the pay to play or pay to progress or pay to win aspects of it, you can go ahead and buy these founders packs directly from their website. There's four different packs to choose from as you can see on screen, but all of them give you beta access. They start at $14.99 and go up to about 100 bucks if you want to spend the cash. As you can see, some of them actually come with Royal Crystals. Royal Crystals are a big part of the cash shop and we're going to cover that here in just a moment. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you guys can most definitely yes. go check out what these bonuses give you so you know exactly what you're getting into whenever you purchase these. It's a little hard to see on the screen here so the link should give you guys more detailed information. This has never been anything I cared about. The cash shop, the ruby shop, the diamond shop, wherever I buy stuff, where I spend real money. I don't care about that stuff. However, here lately, I've been looking into this a little bit more, diving in to what cash shops really do. And a lot of people ask, what's the pay to progress? What's the pay to win look like? And you can purchase this blessing that gives you 30 days of guaranteed uh, free movement across the map as far as spending silver on triports and different skins and pets. There, there's a lot that you can purchase in here that's going to help you progress through the story a lot easier and more simplistic. However, you don't have to. And there are quite a few things you can do to earn the crystals necessary to buy these things without spending your real money. So pay to progress is in the game. Yes, pay to win, not so much. Another very interesting thing is Mary's Secret Store, which rotates ever, ever so often. Um, but what was really cool is most of the time you can look at the previous shop stuff before it goes away completely, decide if you want to purchase any of those items. Most of them are around like crafting and, and things of that nature. But Mary's Shop is a really let's another look. cool way to get stuff through in-game yeah. currency, which yeah. is just your regular crystals. Look, which, like I say, this. if you were the type of person that wanted to spend bukus of money into buying the the real the real money yeah. crystals, you could, and then turn around and spend that on the in-game crystals. But there are other ways to do that. You don't necessarily you have to spend that the way um, you know most games make you spend it to progress. Cash shops have never really bothered me because I understand when a game goes free to play, there's certain things in place to help and make sure that that game black, continues black to cloud. make money as part of their business model. It's not my favorite thing, but I understand the demon. And I embrace it because every now and again, there like are this. things that I would like to purchase when I have the extra cash. I will do it, but not always. And the fact that you have the either or aspect of it is brilliant. And I feel like their business model for the Western side of this is going to be great. And I really do find that their execution of skins and mounts and pets is done quite well. No, they're not all like amazing, the best thing I've ever seen, but the fact that they look so good and they have like an ambient style and they make little noises or they have, you know, effects of that, you know, that, that fit there. I, I like that Yo. a lot. Um, like I say, Yo. I was never a big cosmetic oh, person, oh, oh, oh. but as I step Yo. into MMOs more and more and Yo, more, oh, I see people looking oh, really oh, snazzy oh. and really cool and I'm like, how do I oh, do that? Oh, oh, oh. This is where, you know, you will be spending most of your money probably oh, in the no, cash no, shop no, is no, for no. the cosmetics that look super oh, amazing no, to make no, your character no, no, look no. really cool. Oh, now, as to crafting no, no. any of this, I haven't got there yet. I can't wait to find out. And if anybody knows, oh, please feel God. free to drop that information in the chat for everybody. Now, Lost Ark was built beta, on the yes, Unreal Engine beta, 3, so we're not looking at the world's greatest um, graphics. We're not looking at the best back. light you years away like we saw in New World. However, in my opinion, um, we are looking at some pretty snazzy uh, yeah, looks for what it is. The game doesn't oh. need to run on the highest graphics so long as the combat mad. and the story are immersive wild. enough for us to really that's enjoy what we're getting out of it. That's and honestly... Cool. This was what but I love I the most. Now, graphics still look good. Like I was still able to appreciate no, a lot of what they had. Like so if graphics are something that you worry about, Dude, worry not. This is solid. Sadly. I'm going to take a moment to talk about the cutscenes. Now, cutscenes that were typically not my favorite like as the characters when they had their conversation would only talk for the first line and then you'd have to read the less. The, it wasn't a lot to read, but I, I do love that open dialogue, that immersive feeling whenever a video game gives dialogue between both characters and is spoken through the whole part. I feel like because it was in the closed beta, that's why we didn't hear that part. But like I say, guys, it, it, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I can, I can still play this game. Trust me. Let's get into some more. Lost Ark tends to have a very intuitive story, one that really grips you in the cutscenes, makes you want to watch more, and see what happens next. So it's not lacking in any aspect of what am I going to get out of this story, am I going to walk away with lore, am I going to feel good about the game at the end of it, and what am I progressing towards? Like, are there enough trials and tribulations to keep this game interesting? 
MMOs fail this nine times out of ten. Most of the time, the story is so loose on an MMO, you can't appreciate all the lore that comes along with it unless you've been playing it for four, five, six years, in my opinion. Such as Guild Wars, the lore in Guild Wars runs so deep. This game is giving me a really strong Guild Wars feel as far as the lore, as far as the story, and it makes me want to dive in and continue to play Lost Ark even more. Let's talk about some of the quality of life things, such as selling your ship across the ocean blue that's right guys you get to build a crew you get a ship and then you're able to set sail you're able to pick up items All there's right. there's ma there's docks that you can go land at and on those islands there's going to be missions or other things to uncover there's such as dungeons or hidden ship, bosses so. there as well what I need to I'm do telling you guys the level of content that can be pulled no. from this game as far as a uh, creator side this. is massive but the level right of content there. that a casual or hardcore player is going to get out of this game is phenomenal. We're going to talk about strongholds here as well. Honestly, Whoa. there is so much content that could be right. done so around your stronghold. Around. Your stronghold takes housing to oh, the wow. maximum level. Wow. Because instead of just a little house, you get an entire island. Really, and a lot of the things that, really that you control can be either of, visited uh, or directly used through a through a crafting menu. Your stronghold, guys, it's it's kind of insane. And great. that in this itself needs its own video. Great, but just let me tell you, the content that you can build from strongholds, oh, yeah, and stuff because of yeah that. it's there. There's right, so much to do there. Downstairs. That may be your favorite thing. Have... It wasn't mine, but... It's insane as and, uh, how much stuff can you can do, do from your stronghold, search, what you can learn. I believe the tutorial took me about 30 minutes to get through, if that can and give you an idea go. of what can be learned. Honestly, this is the last bit of what I've got in the video, but I wanted to call out some of the amazing boss battles that you will have throughout the game. Some of them are so intense that you would love to have your four-man group. Uh, this one should have been a four-man group, but instead I did it solo because matchmaking was taking a little bit longer than what I right, wanted it to down, take, and I was doing a live stream. But Welcome let me tell back, you guys, combat in this game is so intuitive. Learning how the boss is going to fight is so amazing. I got knocked up, I got knocked down, I got pushed around, I figured out how the boss fights, I figured out the best time to strike. Whoa. Bosses have breaker bars, so once you break them down to a certain point and you get their break oh, bar all the way down, it stuns them so you get a lot of DPS and damage that can be dealt during that time period. Meshing that with different character Damn, classes in your party or group, it really adds a lot of level and layer to the game. Now, this is kind of a spoiler because this leads to you getting one of the arcs out of the seven that you have to hunt down while you play this game. This is me, 15 or more hours in, working on my second arc out of the seven. So if it takes me seven and a half hours per arc and there's seven arcs, I mean, you can do the math. That's almost like 53 hours just doing the story for the arcs alone, not counting all the additional dungeons and chaos dungeons and raids that we get to do on the side and selling our ship around and all those extra things. No joke, guys. Lost Ark is going to be a game that's going to give us all the content that we could ever ask for. There are some drawbacks. I mean, a lot of people don't oh, like that bro. point click and right click in order to attack like Diablo and Torchlight when they think of MMOs. But if Diablo could have ever made an MMO, if Torchlight could have ever made an MMO, if Path of Exile could have ever made an MMO, this is it. This is it. And to me, it's beautifully done. The story is imaginative. There's a lot going on, there's a lot to learn, there's lore, there's different skills and looks and builds, and there's so much that this game brings to the table that it's going to most definitely be the MMO of 2022. You know, all in all, I want to say Lost Ark has blown my mind in a lot of different ways. I knew it was going to be fun, but I did not anticipate it feeling so good, like feeling like Diablo. And I know Path of Exile is, in a way, an MMO in its own right. But this really gives you the taste of MMO that we've been used to, that we've wanted in a lot of MMOs already, plus a really awesome dungeon crawl feel. The way it looks, the way it feels, the audio quality, the story, the goals that you can set within the game are just, they're insane. And I absolutely love what I'm getting from the Lost Ark's closed beta. I cannot wait till March 2022. Hopefully we don't get it pushed back too many times, but if it does get pushed back, let's hope it's for the better. 
The game's already phenomenal in my opinion. I didn't have any issues with the servers and they were doing some server load tests during this closed beta. So high hopes for the game, guys. I hope the game review gives you a great idea what you can look forward to whenever you get your opportunity to play Lost Ark. Because guys, I'm going to be right there with you. I'm already filling the roster out. Thank you again, guys. If you found value in the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. That way you can join in on the fun and most definitely check out all the future content that will be coming your way. You guys have a great day and thank you.